Welcome back to Theme Journals in April. Okay, so I'm back in the kitchen to do this little, I, what I've done is I've cut the boards out for the, uh, um, writing boards and now and I've also cut I, I stitched around them black on one side and white on the other and I've also cut out these um, so now I'm ready to go ahead and mod podge them So yeah, um, I hope you've had a lovely day. Um, this will come out Wednesday morning. I'm still trying to find time to put up my Lagrima de Oro pictures. I've got to have my daughter come over early this month to do the next set of pictures. I'm going to have to release two this month. So I'm going to do one at the beginning and one at the end of the month. Hopefully that'll work out better for me. We're going to see how it goes. I have to contact her and see what her schedule is. She usually is a free a Sunday, so. All right, so um, I've cleaned up my mess in my, somewhat of a mess I've cleaned up in my craft room. I, um, I've moved some things around, organized a little bit of the mess on the, gr on the floor. Um, I went back and I looked at all of the, um, what do you call it, all of the uh, journals that I put the spy, hidden spines in and on the one side they didn't um, glue right so I've had to re-glue one side of each of these journals. So anyway, that is in the drying stages at the moment. So we're doing writing boards. I know you, that I've shown you writing boards, you know, a lot. It seems like that's all I'm doing. <laughs> writing boards here and writing boards there. Yep, mm-hmm. All right. That's all right. Nothing wrong with writing boards. We like writing boards. Today I had two back-to-back -back cancellations and I was just like, you know, I'm done driving today. D-O-N-E. And so I came home and organized stuff and decided what I was gonna do for today's video. For tomorrow's video, I think we're going to do um, different um, different things for dyeing papers because I desperately need more papers done. I'm all out. It took me a year and a half to go through about maybe 5,000 sheets, but yeah. I got wiped out on Mother's Day, but that's okay. So it's now time to make more. Yeah, all right. I folded all the paper that needed folding for the last 11 um, signature covers, yeah. 
got to pay this. I'll either pay the rent today or tomorrow, and then the next day I should have enough to go get two more cartridges for this particular model. And then the week after that, I plan to get a different model. Um, since I can't get the uh, cartridges any longer at Costco, might as well not, because uh, with the next set of cartridges, I've has spent between four cartridges, $100, and at Costco it used to be three cartridges for 75. So I'm sorry, but that's expensive and I'm not gonna go through that nonsense. Although I do have to compare prices on Amazon to see if they're cheaper than Staples. Probably not, but you never know. So I will be switching to an Epson, which I can get an Epson and the cartridges at Costco. So. that over to the right after I'm done here. All right, that's what I'll do. Yeah, look at that gob. See, from the bottom of the, yeah. Hmm. Quick, before it dries. All right, let's see, yeah, that'll do. You have a couple of seconds if you're just getting into it to move it and if you sort of screwed up a edge but that's all you about have yeah now i couldn't yank it up and not rip it now if i'd screwed up already but i just had a little bit on and it wasn't quite down all the way so that's why i was able to pick it up this might be a two-ply napkin, but the one ply that has the uh, black and white stripes on it is a pretty good layer of napkin, yeah. Oops, let's see what we got here. We don't want to mess that one up, April. All right, now we're gonna pull it over to the side and we got two more to do. Let me put this in the trash. Yep, I got one more space um, beside me over here where you can't see. And then it'll be just enough room for eight. Uh, and then I'll let these dry. I'll cut them off around and do the other side. Now we're down to the last one. Okay. Now, um, I had a shocking thing happen on my last set of boards. My one side, the wax paper stuck too, and the other side ballooned up like a like I burned it so it blistered like it was a blister on your hand 
Yeah, that was weird. The blistering part, not that I couldn't get the wax paper to work right. It's what you get for buying $1.25 wax paper, but I keep on forgetting to check um, Costco when I'm there for a decent um, wax paper. like this one needs a little bit more glue on the edge. Alright. Alright. Let's see. So this will probably get done sometime tomorrow. Just make sure, oh, we got some ballooning over here on one of these. Um, so tonight uh, I'll start the um, process of making more paper. Um, I gotta clean off the other end of the table because I need to make ones that all dry in the air too. I do a combination of using my the oven to dry and um, and air dry. So anyway, I hope you have a lovely day and that you're enjoying making whatever it is that you're making. I know I enjoy doing my projects. So next week I'm buying the, the second set of materials I need for the last commission project I'm doing. That's gonna be a fun one. I already have it planned out in my head. Although I must say, I'm very impressed with the way this one's turned out. It turned out way better than I imagined. So that's exciting news for the person who's um, commissioned me to do the zebra ones. So anyway, I'm gonna wish you all a good day and you all have a lovely Wednesday and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.